Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a this tutorial which is fall slash autumn inspired. This look is definitely more directed to those people coming into fall. I decided to do this because most of my subscribers are actually in the northern hemisphere but I do not think that there are any rules to makeup. I don't think that you have to wear this makeup look during fall or at nighttime or daytime. I just think whatever you want to wear, wear it. I would definitely wear this during summer like why not? I definitely have the skin tone and the hair colour to match the makeup look. It makes me look like a vampire. But I do feel like this look would match most people's skin tones. So if you guys want to know how I did it, then definitely stay tuned. So I'm going to start out by using my L'Oreal Base Magic Primer. And I'm just going to pop that all over my face using my fingers. The one thing I hate about primer is that I can never tell how much I've put on because I can't feel it. Then I'm going to conceal underneath my eyes and I'm going to use my Maybelline Instant Age Dry Concealer in the light shade. Usually I use the brightening shade but I have ran out so I'm using this one now and I don't think it's as good as the brightening shade, especially for paler people. Then I'm just going to blend that in using a damp beauty blender. I think I'm going to apply another layer of that concealer because I don't feel like it concealed as much as I want it to. I'm just going to put a bit more on and also a little bit around my nostrils because I do get a bit of redness around them, which I think is quite common but I don't know why it happens. And then for foundation, I'm going to use the Revlon Colorstay Foundation in Ivory. I know I do use this one in most of my tutorials, it's just that I honestly cannot find another foundation that matches my paleness so well. So I'm sorry that I don't use many other foundations, but I'll try to find a few more. It's just usually they're a bit too dark or they're a bit too yellow or pink. This one just works for me. I'm just popping that on using my beauty blender as well. Um, it's not full coverage, it just covers up. I don't think I need a full coverage foundation. I think I just need something that evens out my skin tone. And I think this is the best foundation that does that. It doesn't make me look cakey. It just evens me out. And I've got a little bit left over and I always like to put that little bit extra on my nose because that's where my foundation wears off the most. And then to set that, I'm going to use my MAC Select Sheer Pressed Powder, and this is in NC5. So um, I think that just gives you an idea of how pale I am. I'm just popping that all over my face. This powder is actually a little bit too dark for me, so I'm sorry if it looks a bit different to my neck. I'm using a powder puff just because it gets more covers up more faster. I'm really impatient when it comes to putting on powder. It just takes so long. So powder puff just covers more of my face. Then to contour I'm going to use NYX Taupe which is almost finished and it is broken but I have heard that they've discontinued it which I'm really sad about because for us pale people this is like the best contour colour you can get. So I'm just going to apply that using my NARS ITA brush. I just apply that to my nose, my, what's this called, <laughs> my cheek, under my cheekbone, my temples and underneath my bottom lip. And then I'm just going to blend that out using this Sedona Lace um, contour brush. It's just a little bit less precise. For blush, I'm going to go for a shade that's a little bit darker. I'm going to use this blush called Pink Browns, and this is actually by Shishi. I've always called it Chi Chi, but apparently the brand said itself that it's called Shishi, which I prefer calling it Chi Chi, but whatever. I think it sounds nicer as Chi Chi, but you know. It's a mosaic blush, and it's called Pink Browns. I'm just applying that to my cheekbones and then up towards my hairline. I concentrate my um, brush on the darker shades as well. And 
And then to highlight, I'm going to take NARS Albatross, which is an amazing golden highlight. I'm going to apply that to my cheekbones. Down my nose and on my forehead a little bit. And I'm also going to pop that on my top lip, my cupid's bow, and then also where I would highlight on my eyes. So I'm going to be applying that to my brow bone and on my inner corner. So for the eyes, I'm going to go for silvers and blacks. I do think it works really well with a dark plummy lip. So we're going to go for that today. So for the base, I'm going to take my Maybelline Color Tattoo. And this is in Audacious Asphalt. <laughs> Who thinks of these names? It's just a deep silver color. And I'm just going to put that over my eyelid using my finger. Oh, I always use my rude finger, so I'm sorry if I look like I'm giving you guys the finger. It's just the easiest one to use. For the shadows, we're going to stick to silvers and blacks. And I'm going to be using Urban Decay palettes because I do feel like they have some really nice um, darker shades in there. I'm starting out with my Naked 2 palette, which I haven't used in ages. And I'm taking a dark silver called Pistol. And I'm going to take that on a flat shader brush and apply that to my whole entire eyelid. Just patting that on so we don't get any fallout. Then I'm going to take that silver and apply that to the inner half of my lower lash line. I'm going to use this... Uh, I'm going to throw it. I'm going to use this little pencil brush from Sedona Lace, which I love. I'm going to apply that to my lower lash line right now. And then because I don't like the black in the Naked 2 palette, I feel like it just doesn't come out at all. It's not pigmented like the other shades. So I'm going to take my Naked Basics palette and I'm going to take Crave, which is this lovely matte black at the end. And I'm going to start applying that in my outer V and then blending that up through my crease. This is super pigmented, so if you are using this shade, just keep in mind to start off with a really light hand. So just starting out working that through our outer V. And now I'm going to take a fluffy shader brush. This one is from Sigma. It's the E40 brush. And I'm going to start blending that black out so it's not as harsh. I'm just going to take a little bit of Crave again on our pencil brush and just apply that through our crease lightly. Just so it's a little bit more defined and deep. Blend that out again. And I'm actually just taking a clean blending brush to blend out those ends. If we do get full that, just take a fan brush and swipe that over our face. It's just going to knock off any of that shadow without smudging it into our foundation. Next, I'm going to take my L'Oreal Super Liner. And I'm going to start lining up my upper lash line. Not sure if I'm going to wing it yet. So I'm just lining my lash line just so it is thinner on the inner corner and gets thicker on the outside. But I'm not going to do a wing. And I am going to line my lower lash line using my Rimmel Scandalize Eyeliner. And this is in the shade Blackmail. Just lining my inner waterline. I'm just going to curl my lashes. I'm going to apply my Maybelline Mega Plush Mascara. Which I love. <laughs> no! Oh god, don't you just hate when that happens? If that does happen, just let it dry and usually it will flake off. <laughs> and then because I always go for quite long all over eyelashes, I'm going to use 
my XO Beauty the Flirt Lashes. So these are just eyelashes for the second half of your eye. They're really great for just creating a cat eye or adding a little bit of length at the end. They're especially good for those people who aren't very confident applying full length eyelashes. These ones are quite easy to use. So I'm just going to apply these lashes using some Duo Eyelash Adhesive. And I'm going to let that get a bit tacky before I apply it. So I just like to take it on a pair of tweezers. And then we're going to go ahead and do the other eye. And once that one dries, I'm going to go ahead and curl it as well. Just to blend it into my natural lashes. And while they dry, I'm just going to do my brows because I always forget for some reason lately. Um, I'm just taking my Sigma Dark Brow Powder. Looks like this and I love it to death. I feel like in full you can definitely get away with a bolder eyebrow. to curl my natural lashes into the false lashes and then I'm just going to apply that mascara to my bottom lashes. I'm just taking a bit of Crave and applying that to the outer half of my bottom lash line just because I forgot to before. So for the lips, for four looks, I think that most people tend to go for a really dramatic darker lip that can be anywhere from a dark purple to a red, but today I'm going to go kind of in between. I'm going to use Revlon's Black Cherry, really nice dark plummy colour. I'm going to apply that to my lips. Whenever I've just done my top lip, it makes me look like I have a moustache. I'm going to apply a few layers of this just because it does take a little bit to build up to its true colour. Then I'm just going to quickly line using Nude Peach from Wild and Crazy, which does not look like a nude peach to anyone, but whatever. I'm just going to make my lips appear a bit bigger. And that is the finished full look. I've got a hit on my forehead. So thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. I do think that this look is very vampy, but that's probably because I look like a vampire anyway. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe, that would mean a lot to me. And I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye!